For today's deck testing video, we are not really deck testing because this is going to be the kind of list that people already know is good because it's mid battle mage, but I haven't done it on the channel yet and so we're just going to do it to get it out of the way. Uh, the only thing really worth highlighting is I'm running one that's also running three copies of Reflective Automaton just so that I can maximize my chances of getting the turn six Alfiq Dream, but uh, we're not going to spend too much time on the list because most of you uh, have seen a list like this at some point. Uh, I will still put the deck code in the video description like always, but we're going to jump into two games, win or lose, so that I can uh, get this out of the way. I just haven't done it on the channel yet, so I figured I needed to do it at least once so that people could see it, and I would at least play the uh, automaton version because, like I said, I wanted to maximize my, my Alfiq chances just so that I could do something potentially fun. So yeah, if you don't know, uh, Automaton, it counts as an Atronach. Atronach is now a, a creature type, and you can eat the robot with the kitty to make a much bigger Atronach when it comes into play. So uh, your pre-turn six ways to get it to trigger now are uh, Reflective Automaton is in the list. We are still running the four copies of Breton Conjurer, which makes the frosty Atronach, the Mr. Snowman, and you can consume that. Uh, there's also uh, three copies of the Temple Conjurer as well, which uh, is the two drop that is really a five drop, but it gives you another way to potentially Watch get that done. Now. And we'll just go ahead because we have the ring and try to take control of the field lane here. Now we are against Tribunal, which at least in the past had been the kind of deck that would give decks like this a bit of a hard time. But we're going to see if we can push through if it is in fact Control Tribunal. I could have used Rapid Shot there. But I was hoping that they did not have the negation. Turns out I was wrong. They did in fact have the negation. Let's shed some light on but, the uh, now the real question I have to ask myself is, is it worth it for me to use my last ring charge here? I don't think I so, actually. I think I just give up on, on the Wardcrafter there since I already kind of got hosed you with my greed play the turn Jeez. before. So here we'll take the Rapid Chat. Watch and, uh, we'll go ahead and do Die, this. Sweet. Call this. Call this okay as we continue our slow but methodical trot through since we're already quite a ways behind against a control tribunal player but uh, again that's largely because of me trying ever so desperately to get value out of that dagger fall and hope that they didn't have the negation a couple of different ways that we could do this I'm I'm tempted to not save these. So uh, we could use Firebolt. We could use like Sedanine here and make this trade that keeps the 3 3 alive, but then we don't do anything else. Um, or we could just double trade in and use Conjure and immediately Firebolt ourselves, which I, I do have to say I think is the most tempting option. Just because it gives me the the best of board Your development. You know, the number of control tribunal players I've ran into this month is so small, so naturally I jump on like a mid range list and that's glad. what I start running into. There's an automaton. All right, so here we could use something like Sedanine to stick the weapon here. That would allow this to trade and then push for the five damage. But I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, let's do it. I We're going to put Sedanine over here, though. God's and the reason we're putting Sedanine over there is we have Abner. So uh, in case we do want to use Abner to copy Sedanine, 
Yeah! Can do that. Careful there, friend. Just gonna try to protect our squad. Mostly we're trying to keep this healthy enough that it survives an ice storm. There was a different sequence we could have taken that also included the uh, the Cradle Crush here. So this is a great turn for our Abner. I will not be on the wrong side of this. Be silent. Oh no. I did not prophesy that coming. Oh, that's that's even more telling. Now that is interesting because they put that back into their hand, right? So, what could this possibly be? If they don't wrath here and trade here, it means that it was a lightning bolt or a javelin they didn't want to use on this. If they had a lightning bolt uh, as well, they might have not wanted to do that here. Um, ice storm. They would have used a lightning bolt here if it was a ice storm. I think what we want to do is this. That was a very like telling move, which tells me that a trade here and a dawn's wrath here was what was likely coming. And we see that because again, there, that meant that they didn't want to do something uh, in this direction. We're going to do this because we're going to still get the same amount of damage in, but this allows us to draw. And now our board, if I play this, our board still gets wiped entirely by Ice Storm, which does not feel great. So we're actually going to pass. Because at this point, you have to assume they have got an Ice Storm somewhere. All right, now that was moderately annoying just because this is going to get another drain creature that we then have to deal with. But I do think that ultimately we're going to end up having to lightning bolt that. So now the question just becomes, what do we do outside of that? So I do think that this is the bolt. And uh, we don't have a good way to not just double crash into this, sadly. So I think what we do now... Again, we're, we're just walking right into an ice storm, but we don't really have many options at this point, so. The Apex Wolf is going to end up being, uh, I think, the backbreaker for us. We did a good job of dealing with kind of everything else. Now, ways we could get out of this would be, and I'm just throwing this out here, maybe we draw an Elfique. When you're playing Catromancer and you don't draw cats, that's a recipe for disaster. You never give ground. Oh, we, we caught a little bit of a break. This was the card in question. So now it becomes, how do we get the most value out of this? Satanine here plus a Cradle Crush means that I clear everything and this survives with one health. Do have this dagger I actually I, I don't know if I'm supposed to push this damage here theoretically field lane represents lethal even with them draining for one however if they also get the expertise here then we're pushed out of lethal if we did not attack 
Yeah, the problem is I should have broken Do this rune worst. before. So this is going to be a prophecy that punishes me. Uh, if you're watching at home, that was a pretty big misplay. Yeah, it's going to be a mummy here. Now that means uh, Ice Storm also pretty significantly hoses me because they get to gain this. a lot of health. Well, You'll it's not going to be an Ice Storm. If they do that, then it's not an Ice Storm. But it doesn't matter. We're pretty significantly behind now. Oh, my kingdom for being able to trigger this properly. We uh, still have to play it. We, we got a little bit lucky there with the high roll. But I have to assume they've got some sort of answer. Soldiers, form up! Yeah, there's the answer. I think that's the first edict that we had seen. All right, so we finally found ourselves a Catromancer. I think I'm still fine with putting it here. We'll keep the Automaton. The reason I'm okay with putting it here is that technically over here, the 3 4 survives, but uh, at this point, getting rid of the Revitalizer would be, uh, I think, a bit of a win. Of course, they What's could just go and do that spot? and protect it still. Things are just not, not going in our favor at the moment. Don't let them break our lines. Watch this. What's yours is mine. By the right. fires of oblivion. We'll do this. They will perish in flame. Couple of different ways we could go here. I still feel like this is going to end up being the best option. You just really have to hope that they're not sitting on another Dawn's Wrath. But uh, I don't think splitting makes sense because Daggerfall plus the Viper is enough for them to kind of own the field lane at this point. So I think we just load this and pray that with the three cards in hand. That they don't have answers. Well, they have an answer for this. Is there eyeball in it? Yep, there it is. So we've seen one javelin, two mummifies, no. and two edicts now. Don't let them break our gonna push damage, huh? Watch this. And uh, I think this might end up being game in their favor. Because I don't have many defensive tools. And this this second hive defender is rather annoying. Alright, so this one is we're gonna take our value Put trades. The forest slow will this not down. Let's shed some light on the problem. And, uh, this is it. We're basically uh, hoping for. Um. Actually, no. We we cannot win. I should not have played here. This is the second play mistake of this game. So the reason I shouldn't have played here is because if they're smart, they can skip my last rune. 
They trade with the Daggerfall. This takes me to six. This uh, eats the tome and then skips the last room. Gone. So they are, they're gonna win here, but. Nonetheless, Mother of not much we could do. They had the right removal at the right time. I made the one play mistake earlier as well, where I gave them the free prophecy. I should have just passed the turn. I should have attacked before playing cards, but should have also just passed the turn. We'll jump into another game. Hopefully I can learn from my mistakes and or just not run into tribunal control. Or if Alfiques also came down kind of late. It was like turn 10, something like that. Which is usually a pretty feels bad. Turn of events there. Um, we'll throw these two back because this is not a real two drop. I'll scout ahead. So we're now we're up against Telvani. Now the good news is Telvani doesn't have nearly as much just straight hard removal. I mean they do have things like Viper, so at some point you kind of have to play around that potentially. But for the most part. The edicts, mummifies, javelins, and so forth that I will have your head. plague you. Careful then, friend. We're going to play this just because I kind of want to see if we can bait a negation out before playing one of these conjurers. Yeah, see? At some, some point, you, you say, hey. There's stuff here. Your blood will spill. Okay, so we're gonna do this My now. Like See if they have a second negation. That was the other thing about that tribunal game was they did have the negation when I took the greed daggerfall. So I guess you could basically say overall uh, that I I just played that game miserably. Face me, you dog. Pretty God's miserably. All right, well My we're just gonna own like the field lane now. for a bit. Since they're not playing anything. The hist provides. All too simple. Gods take you. I come playing. Well, you know, three times for this, I guess. Oh. I keep a spare blade in my boot. Would love to top deck something like Skaven or Cradle Crush because that makes this lane very, very spicy. Rapid Shot's another great way to get there. We're going to do this first. I'm ready for you. All too simple. All too simple. Let's shed some light on the problem. And I think we'll just go ahead and do this as well. So now Ice Storm, for example, plus a Black Hand Messenger clears everything but one of the five fives. They're thinking. So the good news is Catramancer is online for the following turn. We can still push a pretty significant amount of damage. Gods so take you. we can protect this. Die, sweet. Do push your damage worst. here. You We're going to play it uh, over on this side. Just so that it makes it that much harder for them to deal with this. Because it's now got cover and ward to potentially hide from vipers. Uh, but really, we're just trying to set it up so that uh, any amount of damage survives because we have the double bolt. That's going to be game. So uh, there, there you have it. Two games, win or lose. Uh, 
you you know that's the MO with these deck testing videos. The first game was rife with my own play mistakes. It's entirely possible I could have taken uh, that game, but then again, it is also Control Tribunal, and uh, they're going to do Tribunal things sometimes. So, uh, if you made it this far, I love you, and until next time, may you walk on warm sands.